Okay, so this is the, going to be the last topic in oscillations, and this is the topic is forced oscillation, and we already have covered cases when when the differential equation for this guy was m x double dot plus k x equals zero. We also have encountered case when there was a damping present proportional to the velocity in that case the differential equation was zero and this is the third and the final case let's make it somewhere separately and this is same as the second one but just with one addition this is a big addition actually this guy is moving down with the velocity v again the damping is there bv spring constant is k the mass is m but also on top of that there is an external force acting on the mass and this is given as um, the external force is given as let's say just f external and uh, um, this well let's write it like this f external uh, is actually f external cos omega t which means this is the magnitude of the external force and this is the angular frequency Now in these cases we are using omega to express k over m. Here omega was uh, something else. I forgot what was it, but omega was something, some expression. And in this case, actually omega square is the um, is the frequency of the external force, and we choose instead omega naught as the frequency of the undamped oscillators. You see my point? So instead of using omega for root k over m, we are using omega. So this is just some variable. We are defining omega naught to be k over m, which means this oscillator should have been oscillating with the frequency omega naught if there was no BV and if there was no F external. So that is the point. That omega naught is a natural frequency of the system. But there, now we are not really talking about natural frequency of the oscillator. We actually have a case when we have a damped damping present and, a, and an external force present. Damping is BV, where V is the velocity. And F external is given as, or external force is given as F external, which is the amplitude of the uh, force, and cos omega t, which means the force is sinusoidal or sinusoidal in nature, which means it's changing like this. So this is um, F external or the external force. F external is actually the amplitude. And the differential equation for this is actually mx double dot. Just to clarify, x double dot is d square x over dt square and x dot is dx over dt. So mx double dot plus bx dot plus kx equals f external cos of omega t. Now, uh, you see it's the same as the previous one, but on the right there's an external force. So it's just because of Newton's law. If you write Newton's second law, you will get this equation. So this is what we obtain using Newton's law. But what is the solution? The solution is given as that x changes as a cos omega t plus phi. As you can see, that x is changing with the angular frequency omega, which is as the angular frequency of the external force. So here you see x was written as a cos omega t or sine omega t plus phi. Here omega was the natural frequency of the oscillator. And in this case, omega was the damped frequency of the oscillator with which x was changing. So, um, 
x x was actually uh, given as in this case a e e to the power minus b t over 2 m cos omega t plus phi. So you see here omega was the and omega was given as um, square root of k over m minus b divided by 2 m squared. So this is the damped frequency omega. Here is the natural frequency or the normal frequency of the oscillator. Here, omega is nothing but the external frequency, the, the frequency of the external force. So this is what, this is how x is changing with time for this kind of oscillator. And a is given as f external divided by m, where a is the amplitude of x, which means x which is going to move which is going to behave something like this and this is the maximum amplitude a for the x and this is omega square minus omega naught square I'm just I re I'm just writing the solution directly instead of trying to solve it because probably it's not up to this level that we can talk about solving these equations so we'll just 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 let's just take the solution Okay, so this is A. Oh, all right. Uh, what is important in this formula? We already have understood that this is how x is changing. But what is important in this formula is that if if omega equals omega naught, what happens? That you see, this uh, this term becomes very small because this is a, in fact, there's a square here also. You see, this is a positive number because it's a square of something. So this is some number plus some number is the is in the denominator. But when omega becomes equal to omega naught, what happens? This all becomes to zero. This whole thing becomes zero, and that is the minimum value this whole expression can achieve. So when this becomes zero, a becomes a large number because your denominator is a small number now. As a matter of fact, if b is a small number, a actually becomes really large. a really becomes really large. And this condition is called resonance, which means the external frequency of the system is same as the normal frequency of the system, which means the frequency with which external force is driving the oscillator is same as the natural frequency of the oscillator. And then what happens? A becomes a very large value and this is called resonance and this is very dangerous that sometime bridges break down the bridge breaks down because of wind and the reason they break down because of wind because they have some normal frequency omega and if there's a wind flowing which is also oscillating with a frequency omega naught and such that omega is omega naught this bridge start to go up and down very fast uh, I mean with a large amplitude, with a large A, it starts going up and down. And then mechanical structure cannot support this high amplitude and so it breaks down. So this is the idea when the when the resonance occurs. So resonance occurs when the natural frequency of the system becomes equal to the forced frequency. And then resonance occurs. So that is the last topic in our uh, topic of uh, forced oscillation. We'll talk about gravitation from following lecture onwards.